right, we're continuing to follow um, the president and the first lady, Senator Rick Scott, there as well. As you can see, I believe um, that is FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell um, as well. They're meeting um, at a elementary school on the ground there in Live Oak, Florida, as the president and the first lady are surveying the damage from Hurricane um, Adalia, getting a briefing, of course, from local officials there and the FEMA Administrator as well um, to figure out the needs on the ground there. Want to listen into the president who's speaking now. Give me all the information I needed. I mean, cooperative is the devil. And he's been very complimentary about your operation. And, uh, and I appreciate that. And I told him that uh, we're here as long as it takes. Mr. Mayor, I warn everyone, don't ever run for mayor. They know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Can I just say something real quick about what uh, the president's done? First off, the president did a great job with the early declaration before the storm hit. Uh, the coast. That was a big deal. It helped all these first responders. And then the, how fast uh, you approved through FEMA the individ individual assistance, the public assistance, and the repick up is a big deal to every one of these communities. These are not rich. These are not rich communities. These are uh, many of them struggle. Um, and so what the federal government's doing by FEMA being a great partner, the federal government being a great partner, is a big deal. And so I want to thank you for doing that very quickly. Yes. Yes. It's kind of like my neighbor. By the way, I noticed one thing I didn't know. How many broiler chickens you have? <laughs> Delaware, four billion dollar industry, broiler chicken. We have so many more chickens than we have people that can't match. <laughs> anyway. All right. Yeah, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Dan. Mr. President, uh, my wife and I, Amanda, want to welcome you to the city of Live Oak and the beautiful Swanee County. Thank you so much for coming and shining a light on uh, mm -hmm. this uh, this event here. So this. The, the biggest uh, storm that I'm uh, aware of, at least in my lifetime, hit our county. And uh, thank you so much. And I agree with Senator Scott. Uh, you were very quick to declare a disaster area that uh, helped the funds to continue to flow to us or to begin to flow. Um, I met Mr. Otis Spencer, who is from FEMA. He's been in from day one. Had a good conversation with him. I don't see him in the uh, crowd today. Uh, I'm sure he's next door in the EOC. Uh, there at his computer doing his work, but I thanked him because he's been here from day one. He said, we're here to help and to do whatever needs to be done. So thank you for your assistance, your help, and really for bringing attention and bringing the First Lady because uh, that's helped us because when you bring your wife, you know it's important. And, uh, and you're showing us that, that we are important to you. So thank you again. You get that finger in your back, you know. <laughs> thank you again for that. But um, I, I, I wanted to... Uh, just to take a, a, my time to say thank you to all the people, the federal people that are helping us. We have state people here, of course, local people, all of these men and women who represent uh, all those that have been in the EOC. Many of them have had little sleep. Uh, uh, they've got plenty to eat over there, I will say that, but uh, not much rest. They've been working feverishly. They represent all these people that we don't see, the linemen, uh, the first responders, uh, search and rescue, all of those people. We're so we're, we're humbled by the number of volunteers that have come in from other states and other cities to help us. Many volunteer giving their time, not getting paid. And we're so grateful for that.